So we're going to be talking about uh, Gaslight's apprenticeship program today, and uh, with me I have three of our most very recentest apprentices, and uh, we're going to be talking about the program and their experience. Um, so I'm going to start with Rashawn. Um, Rashawn, I would love to hear how you found out about the Gaslight apprenticeship program. Okay. Um, so I just um, completed a coding boot camp. Um, called Full Stack Academy in Chicago. Um, and then I was looking for different opportunities to start my career as, as a developer. And I saw that a good number of positions were looking for people with a couple of years of experience already, even for like entry level positions. And, um, and I wanted to, I started looking into apprenticeships and then I saw that Gaslight is um, like one of the best apprenticeships and that they give uh, new developers, like out of boot camps or self-taught, um, experience that they need and mentorship that um, gets them up to speed and teaches them best practices and um, starts the career off on the right track. Joe. Yes. What were you doing before you did the apprenticeship program? I was uh, head of a medical device company, sales and operations firm for 10 years. Uh, Started right out of college, started you know entry level, and eventually worked my way up. But then, uh, yeah, uh, I got into development just because uh, out of necessity for business purposes. Um, and so we needed a website built. I built it with Wix and kind of got interested from it and wanted to learn mechanics about it. So, kind of started that journey right there a couple years ago, and here I am today. <laughs> yeah. So you said it was a medical device company? Yes, yeah. So was, how, what was your background then to, before that? Uh, so I got a degree in biology. I was supposed to go to medical school, actually. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I decided last minute to uh, not pursue that route. And it was just, a, I thought, a good fit and st sticking with the healthcare field still. So mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, so that's how I got into that. Cool. Yeah. And during that job, that was where you get a chance to experiment with building the website. Yes, yes, yeah. It was strictly out of uh, business necessity. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, we were um, uh, outsourcing it to an agency, and it just seemed like kind of slow with getting some minor changes done. So then we are trying to explore different routes to, um, I guess, make things, expedite things. When, and then we didn't necessarily want to bring it in-house, but then, you know, it, it turned out, you know, Wix was super easy, drag and drop, whatever, but, uh, yeah, the mechanics behind it was pretty cool, so then, you know, I wanted to learn everything about it from then, then on, so, yeah. Cool. So, um, with the apprenticeship, you, you know, our apprentices come in with mm -hmm. having learned to code already at, a, at at least a basic level of being able to build applications. How did you get to that point? So... I started, I'll backtrack. Sure. I majored in physics, like Joe majored in biology. Um, this is completely different from that. Uh, after I graduated, I couldn't find a job. So I was trying to get some independent research experience from this group at the Rochester Institute of Technology doing astronomy research. And they needed someone to clean their data. They were taking um, light, samples from a certain group of stars and they needed okay filter out all these stars outside of a certain luminosity I'm like okay i know matlab i used that got drilled into me in college matlab's a really bad tool for this i learned r and started learning data science eventually that flipped into front-end development i taught myself a free foot a free code camp and a couple years later here i am how was the apprenticeship program uh, different than other options out there for you? Um, I think that it gave me a lot more um, like direct like mentorship. Um, uh, other companies that I talked to, they were kind of like, okay, you'll kind of have someone who won't exactly like be there teach you everything. They'll just kind of like, okay, this other company works, and just give you your own tasks and hope that you're doing it right. Um, but um, I feel like that um, with the uh, apprenticeship, 
I was able to learn best practices and um, different um, like data structures and how different languages work and things like that. So I could, I guess, start my career off on the right foot um, with more focus on my development at the beginning. So. Joe, what was the most significant thing you say you, you would think uh, you've learned during the course of the apprenticeship program? Um, be prepared to drink from the fire hose. <laughs> you know, I have, there's always endless opportunities to learn different things. And uh, I thought I knew what I was doing prior to coming here. And then it really showed me that there's a whole another world out there, obviously, with so much more. Uh, I guess I uh, didn't have much depth or breadth of knowledge, more or less, you know. And so I think uh, the main things like I take away from this was, um, you know, I didn't even know that about unit testing or simple things like that. And you, uh, the apprenticeship program introduced that, you know, unit testing and also fundamentals, I guess, like uh, data structures and algorithms. It had really good, I guess, patterns of uh, exercises to build up to different levels of knowledge, you know, and. I think, uh, yeah, it was a great, op great experience, great opportunity. I enjoyed every minute of it. I still enjoy it right now, but yeah. Ryan, mm -hmm. what was the biggest challenge for you during the course of the apprenticeship? Uh, in hazard of repeating Joe, <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest challenge was the drinking from the fire hose. It's, I had some experience with things that weren't JavaScript before coming in, like a child's understanding of C and Java. But we get shoved into this environment where, hey, you're responsible for a full stack app now. You need to be on the front end. You need to be on the back end. You need to be in the database. If you're Joe, you have to start worrying about DevOps and builds and Docker. Um, and just trying to keep afloat and all that was probably the most challenging. And I just wanted to retreat to my competency of yeah. being in the front end. Yeah. Were there any uh, strategies that helped, helped you guys cope with that challenge that you could pass on the future generations of apprentices? Mine's really specific to our stack, which is use TypeScript, because then you won't even notice that you're not writing JavaScript if you go over to Java. Mm. It just made both sides make more sense to me. To go right back to pre before the apprenticeship, you know, it was like, I wasn't really looking per se, but, uh, you know, every job descriptions, they all had, you have to have X amount of experience. The apprenticeship program gave, I guess, lowered that barrier of entry, for me at least, and uh, gave me opportunity to pursue this passion for development. So, I mean, I think I'm excited about where it's going to go next because, like, um, I initially came in thinking, you know, full stack was just front end, back end. And uh, I've got an opportunity to do, like Ryan had said, lots of DevOps stuff and working in GCP. And it's uh, it's been fun. And I, can, I look forward to seeing where else it go, uh, goes from there, I guess, you know. But, yeah. I am excited to be able to make the things we're working on better now. Um, I've somehow convinced people that I'm an expert in things, <laughs> and now they come to me for like help with stuff, or um, I am CC'd on the things that are like, hey, the UX people, the people who are really good at the UX development, take a look at this. And I don't know um, what lie I've fed to these people, but <laughs> it's been really encouraging to go forward with this stuff. Yeah, that's awesome when you go from beginner to, mm -hmm. you know, uh, at least somebody that people come to. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, and I guess for me, um, just like going into the apprenticeship, like knowing like, I guess like full stack JavaScript and then like making some as I realize now, uh, it's pretty small applications, even though I thought they were like the best things ever. Um, like after like six and a half months of 
like learning a new language, new frameworks, and just like being able to work with other teams in a large enterprise level application. Um, just like imagining like a year or two down the road, like what I'll be able to do um, is like pretty exciting because I mean, after six months, it's I've learned so much that I could, I don't, I don't know what I, well, I don't know what I'll be able to do down the road, so kind of looking forward for, to that, yeah. Being able to build more things. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I really thank you guys for coming in and uh, talking to us about your experience. Um, thanks very much. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.